And support is growing as people leave tribute, tributes to officers, officers Zorate out of the side of where he worked. Channel 2's Jake Reiner continues our team coverage from outside of the police station. Jake. Sarah, you know what I've noticed being here all day, seeing people drop off flowers to this growing memorial for Officer Zarate, was that he meant a lot to everyone here in the city of Bel Air. Marco Zarate's daughters have the strength to show up and contribute to their father's memorial outside the Bel Air Police Department, but were too upset to speak with us on camera. You don't realize how precious life is until it freaking goes just like that. As David Kraft puts it, one day he's having a nice talk with Officer Zarate outside his Bel Air swimming pool company. The next, Kraft is also contributing to a memorial in his friend's honor. What an awesome guy he was. I mean, I just can't tell you how nice he was all the time. In this exclusive surveillance video, you can see how it all started. Two suspected thieves take off after Zarate tried to pull them over at the Meyerland Plaza shopping center. Zarate pursued. These guys are out, they're traveling, they're hurrying, always trying to make sure people are safe and all right, and then this has to happen. The suspects got away, and a mile from the scene, the seven-year veteran officer loses control of his motorcycle and crashes. He later died at the hospital. You know, because of some senseless act, he lost his life. You know, just like in Dallas, you know, it's really sad. Darlene Wilkins works in Bel Air. She, too, came by to pay her respects. And I pray for his family. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez will have more on this at 5 o'clock, and I'll have your full wrap at 6 o'clock on Channel 2 News. Reporting live from the Bel Air Police Department, I'm Jake Reiner, KPRC Channel 2 News.